All right, hello, welcome. It's been a while since I had to pop out that text. Sorry about that. I had a little interruption right at the start. I can't believe it. So that's going to uh, fuck up the vote. It almost makes me want to restart the stream, but I'm not going to. Uh, because I can't be fucked. Anyway, uh, what we're doing... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that completely... F I was full ready. I was pumped. And then, oh, interruption as soon as it starts. Um... Anyway, my name is Chicken Chow, but I know on the internet as Chicken Chow, and uh, we're gonna hatch some eggs to start off the uh, stream. I got a bunch of eggs here, so let's see what we can uh, we can get. I forgot to show the Terrassian egg to the con. Fuck, whoops! I have to do that off stream. We get a gameth, and that mouth looks crazy. I've never seen it open its fucking mouth before. That's it's mad. Uh, we get Zenoga, little baby Zinzin. Diablos could care less about. Nursilla, I shouldn't have hatched you. Whoops, have to go get another one off stream. Uh, a Brute Tigrex. I managed to get still one of these eggs from one of the dens, even though I could... I died to the Brute Tigrex previously, so I decided just to steal the egg. A normal Tigrex. A lot less impressive. Holy shit. No, it's a speed... Uh, Speedy boy. And a monoblus. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's nice, nice, nice. Cool, cool, cool. Let's start putting some of these in our, our party. Do we get any new tech ones? No. None of the new things we got were tech. Besides, obviously, no silver, but... Um... That's fine, as long as we have one tech person. I think I'll keep Ruby Basarios. I think I'll switch out Crimson Kopeko. Uh I definitely want Brute Tigrex and Zenoga. Where is... Uh, here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to find out where my... Uh, this one. 25, 23... 25, 23, 12 speed, 80 health, 12 weak. So this one's got 80 health, 12 speed, but more weakness, but it has more potential for bingos. And it has jump, which is nice. Uh, I like Black Diablos, but I might switch him out. Gameth. Mega Breaker, what the fuck is that? Breed break cracked rocks, no matter how the hard the rock is, it will be smashed to smithereens. Is that different to, like, Head Smash? Whoops. Um, who has Head Smash again? Daybreak does, doesn't she? Rock Breaker. Some rocks are too hard to break with this action. Okay. I want Black Diablos at the party, though. Issue is, I have too many good mons that I like. Like, I like my leggy. My little leggy. I mean, Gabbeth would be... Uh, you know what? No, fuck Ruby Becerra. Oh, but then I don't have a tech. I wanted uh, Monobliss and Brute Tigrex. Which I don't even know where Brute Tigrex is. Oh, there he is. You know what? Fuck it, we bore. With not a single technique type, that's probably not a good idea. Oh, fuck me. Do I put Little Leggy out? Do I take out Harold? You know, I'm, I'm gonna take out Gap. No, I want Mega Break. 
I guess Leggy is technically the person to take out. Oh well. We'll put Leggy on the back burner then. And we'll take instead... Um... We have electric. We'll take Ruby Baserios. Hardest decision of my life. It's like picking between my babies. What I will do though is I will um, switch out Rose here for. What? Party for multiplayer. Weird. Uh, I'll put Blade Break in here because I want uh, Daybreak to level up. I'll put people that I want to like stay leveled in here. You know what? I'll even bring... Um... Can I bring Gameth? No, I have Gameth in the party. I don't even know what they're gathering, but they're gathering stuff. And I like stuff. I'm sure there's like a best place to have them gather. Alright, but now that we've organized our monster party, we're gonna turn in all of our fucking quests. At least all the ones we can. Get our dudes leveled up and us leveled up as well, importantly. Also, I managed to do the uh, Barrel Feline quest. It took me a few goes to figure out what I'm supposed to do, but I just ended up blowing off his barrel with uh, a bomb. That was pretty good. Uh, I didn't do all of these because some of these are actually pretty rough. So I wanted to uh, wait. I haven't done um, all these trials as well. I should do some of them sometime. But as for quests to turn in, we have Lelucian, Barrel Feline, Valiant Augur, which is Lelucian, um, Sloppy Artisan, and Kuan Village. Who is... Meet Client... Ah, uh, Lelucian. Alright, then this is the only one, the... One in Kuan, Land of the Bloom. I wish it was a faster way to run in this game. I guess we run fast enough. Hey Hello. I found your treasure. I have to get used to the controls again because I feel like I haven't played this forever. Alright, now the Lucian. You know, kind of sad that I didn't get to spend more time with the bodacious guy. What was his name again? Roberto? I think that's what it was. Or Roberto or something? Hello, I've finished off one of your creatures, the Desert Danger. Right, two clients all the way down there. I wanted to make some new like armors and stuff with the Zenoga and uh, the mammoth stuff, but probably. <laughs> but it's just like they need so many other parts that I'm not gonna get them for a bit. Alright, so now you're going to teach me how to make ancient potions. 
which are going to be super strong. Because they restores an LS HP and one heart when used. After the LS HP will gradually recover while injured. They sound amazing. But if they need Kelby horns, they're going to be a bitch to grind if they're anything like I had to. And now all we have is the one in Povermore Garden, I think. But in the feline shelter specifically. And then we could just push on with the quests. We should have a strong enough party to do kind of whatever we want. I want a bit of stronger armor, but I'm currently not pleased with the armor sets we have. So maybe the next area is going to give us like a new tier of armor. Alright, sweet. Big fucking Olgo, dude. Now let's go uh, investigate Chlora Coast. Uh, we'll go in the evening, why not? Little nighttime stroll. I hope this place looks good at night. This place just looks good in general, to be fair. See, I don't think I could take Harold out of the party just because I value stealth way too much. Leggy doesn't actually offer anything outside of battle, which is, like, a shame. Leggy would if we weren't forced to bring Ratha with us everywhere. Like, Ratha is strong, don't get me wrong, but I like Leggy. You guys hang back. I'm the hunter here. Let me do my job. Hey, who put you in charge? Simmer down. Uh, I know what it is. It's easy to get angry when you're hungry. Honestly. Am I wrong? Scars. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, it's electric. What? Oh, yeah, you're a half Zenoga, aren't you? You know, he kind of looks like, um, not Zekian, what's the other, Zerora in Pokemon. Hang in there, Sarge, we'll get you patched up in no time. Let us take things from here. Focus on the task at hand. We got a Lagacricus, Lagacris, to deal with. Wow, Kyle, you're being a bitch for someone who said, I'll take the enemy, and then literally did nothing. Alright, I don't know what type this guy is, but my strongest mons are both weak to electricity. But, Viserios isn't. Alright, let's go tactical and hope. It's power, fuck. It is weak to fire, though. Which means Ratha, even though you're weak to it, you're technically the best for this. Alright, body's not weak to that, but head is... Oh wait, why did I go into Rathor? Whoops. For some reason I saw power and I wanted speed. And but I just went to power.
Me smart. Blue beat red. Red beat green. Green beat blue. Zenoga's not going to do the most damage here, but he will also survive a lot easier. I don't have a fire weapon, so I guess hammer is the next best thing. It's mad now. I have no clue what it's going to do. Probably technical. So I'm going to switch to Wow, Gabbeth has like is the same level as Brute Tigrex but just has no stats. What the fuck? Why does he have, like, no stats? Like, even Zenoga has, like, double his fucking stats. Did I just, like, breed a dud? Alright, let's hope power is the, uh, thing. No, he went speed. Shit. Well... If anyone should get hit by electricity, it is me. Tail is weak to ham bam though. Is this the monster that everyone wanted back in like Monster Hunter? But something about water combat and then they're not doing it? Or is that a different one? Can you not do that? Alright, good shit. We'll be able to hand bam its fucking tail up. Biggie, you gotta win this. Yeah, it's fine. We will win this. It's not gonna be hard. Alright. Slam jam. Thank you, ma'am. Does it extra charge concentrating on one part of its body? Oh, it fell asleep. Nice. What? It woke up just instantly? Alright, it's probably a technical type, so let's switch you for Tigrex. If I had to guess, this is like its third state. We have back and body. It is technical now, nice. Your media showering, so we could just stay in here. Um, I don't know what its back is weak to, but I'm gonna guess maybe arrows. Not arrows, it's hammer. I kind of don't want to break its back because I like it being technical type, but I'm sure here he's going to do like a big hit.
Double attack with Kyle. We've downed him. Ooh, we're gonna try Tigrex's uh, kinship move. Is it the same? I think it's the exact same. Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same. But hey, we crit it. That's all that matters. Alright, so it's going to go back now to um, power, which means we want to switch to speed. It's like 5D chess. Except it's really not that complicated. Alright, we could try Zenoga's move. Go voltage crash. Alright, that's pretty cool. Come on, let's break his back. Alright, so now he does speed. So we want to switch you out for Viserios. Kyle's going to media next turn. And we're going to do it with him. Yeah, there we go. Double kinship move with Kyle. And it gets super effective because of Viserios. That's pretty good. It should be dying here soon, I mean. Surely it can't be that tanky. Oh, there we go. Now it's getting close to death. What the fuck is the point of sleep if it just gets up straight away? As much as I want to use your attack, Viserios, you're not the, uh... You're not the play here, buddy. Nice little slammer jam there. Can we get another one? It's down, so let's, uh... There we go. Media hammer. God, this thing's still fighting. Fuck me. I mean, good on him, I guess, but... You know, I'm just gonna stay in with Tiggy. 
get a kinship off if we can. Never mind. Hunting is for hunters. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. You're forever very useful to the story. Hang in there, Orgo. Sarge, you okay? Yeah, I'm alive. You were positively claudacious, partner. Gah. Sarge! We must tend to his wounds. May I? Okay, we'll go on ahead. I'm not going to insist you see things the way we do. But there's something you should be aware of. You're a cunt. The situation's far worse than it seems. And it's possible that monsters are connected to the pits. Say what? It's your choice whether to believe it or not. Oh. I'm a hunter. It's all I know. Everything about you people is confusing to me. I can see that. What's this whole idea of forming kinship with monsters? How do you control them? It's not about control. Monsters help riders of their own will. And the bonds between monsters and riders are just like your bond with Sukino. It's more like grooming in oh. our case because we get them as a kid. Everyone brings something to the table in the partnership between monsters and riders. This is no different. It's not only us suffering under these strange occurrences. Monsters are too. <sighs> We're not your enemies. We have to treat all good wounds. Let's go back to the shelter for now. Navaru doesn't seem like his usual cheery self either. Doubt he'll tell me what's wrong. Navaru is too busy going Super Saiyan all the time. Which, I mean, fair, fair play to him. If you can go Super Saiyan, go Super Saiyan. No attention to wasting our lives here. Get your paws on one. A leg of... Lega Creek is great sword. You know what? I probably will. I need a great sword upgrade. I need a bow upgrade too. I love my leggy bow, but fuck me, is it going down? You're not eating your donut. I've got this nagging feeling. I'm forgetting something important. Naviru. About that power you have. Are oh, they finally bringing it up? Ah, you mean this? It seemed like Orgo was surprised by it too. Yeah, I got this power after venturing out into the big wide world. You want to hear about my past? It's a long story. Yes, of please. Course. I'd love to hear about it. Why did no one ask I was yet? Without a place to call home. Without a name. I ended up in a brawl. Sarge turned up and tried to intervene. I know what it is. It's easy to get angry when you're hungry, he said. That only infuriated them. We took a pretty good licking, and we were a sorry sight afterwards. You impressed me in that fight. That was some positively claudacious stuff. He seemed so strong, and he always protected me. That's why I call him Sarge. We had a dream. We promised to travel the world together. But things happened, and we went our separate ways. Our promise went unfulfilled. I got experimented on. I lost my memory, but I gained this power. I can't imagine. At least you got to see your old friend again. Yeah, and he didn't even get mad at me for breaking our promise. That's positively claudacious. Yeah, positively claudacious and... Uh... Wait, how'd that go 
again? Is something the matter? Well, we had this catchphrase, but I can't remember the rest of it. The resident felines witnessed something in the garden. Please hurry. What did they see? I couldn't catch it amid all the uproar. Let's get on the scene. Felines followed the possible monster with his petal within his petal garden. Alright, is it gonna be Mizutsune part two? Before I do that, let's um go traveling to a smithy. Here we go. Let us uh, forge and see what we can make. Let's check out the armor first. Lager Krieger's armor. Kinship skill plus. Thunder defense. And soul kinship. That's pretty cool. It is pretty good just like baseline armor. But needs quite a few things to upgrade it that I don't have. Lager Krieger's blade is alright. Vortex hammer looks alright too. And the gun lance looks fine. I'm hoping for a new bow soon. Like, I, uh, the blessed rain is probably what I'll end up getting, but... I want the usurper's rumble. But I need shakalaka. That's, that sounds vaguely fucking racist to say. Am I allowed to say that? Who knows? Alright, what do we need to upgrade that? Electro sack I have, so I just need to kill more Lager Kriegers. Thank you. Which I'm sure I'll get to. It's currently weaker than my other um my other blade, but I don't really care. It's thunder element, which is good. I don't really have thunder. No, I'm going to, uh, I don't think Gameth is going to get good. Like, his stats are just so bad. And I don't know why. So, Leggy, you're coming back in the party. Yeah, I think this will be good. Oh, you got another quest. Uh, armor of Ruby Baserios. I'm I'm not doing that right now. I was happy doing the other thing because I wanted to check out the uh, the new gear and stuff that I could make, but that nah. I've already seen the Ruby Baserios stuff, and it's really cool. Some of the weapons, the guitar looks sick. I wonder if there's... I assume the final boss for this game is going to be like a unique monster to this game. But I wonder how many like monsters are from old games. If all of them are or only some of them or... Oh. Wait a sec. I gotta go up. Come on, give me that chest. Is it in here? No? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, wait. It's that easy, huh? All 
I was overthinking. Let's investigate see if we can't figure out what the feline saw. Alright, Sukuno. I like Sukuno because she's very level-headed and it's hard not to like level-headed characters unless they're just boring. Which does happen a lot. I feel like anime is trying to make level-headed characters way too like, oh, I'm cool and not talking much. And it's like, okay, that's just kind of boring though. Tsukuno talks quite a bit, which is nice. And it's also easy when she's paired with someone that I hate more like Kyle and she tells him like, no, maybe you should think about not being a little bitch sometimes. Ah, oh, we can do that, yeah. I find some of the skills a bit weird that they give to like some of the monsters like most monsters can climb ivy in at least world Oops. and like most monsters like naga cougar and stuff can fly as well and i understand they wanted it so like each monster has viability but i feel like they're so scared to give like monsters two abilities <laughs> Like, let's be real. Dash... Dash shouldn't be an ability. I feel. Because the turning circle on it is so small, I've never seen a single time where I'm like, hmm, yes, I want to use dash here. Even on, like, the big open plane fields, it's like, why dash and risk running into something when I can either fly or just stealth walk? I thought we had something cool going on, but it's just expedition party. We do have jump though from Zenoga, right? Yeah. I just wish they gave some, like, why'd they give Nagakuga just stealth, right? Why'd they give, you know, Zenoga just jump? Surely he can climb Ivy. Surely he could do some other stuff like break rocks. Or even like a search. Why didn't they just give them a search function on top of it? Oh, oops, I didn't mean to switch. The fact that you can't go to, into an Everden with like a full party that will be able to do everything without knowing what's in the Everden kind of sucks as well because like you can't take out Ratha so you only have five slots. You need jump, swim, fly, oh not fly sorry, jump, swim, rock smash, ivy climb and what's another one that you need for exploration? Maybe that is it. Maybe you can do that. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I'm born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh, there we go. Like a Kriegus. So it's weak to... It does power first, so we want speed. Let's get leggy. I can't arc shot, so I'm actually going to switch to uh, to the hammer and hopefully get enough hammer charge that I can hit everyone. Now this guy was weak in the tail to hammer? Yeah. I don't mind if everyone hits me because I got a ton of health. Good shit, Leggy. And now I'll be able to kill all the Hermitors next turn. 
with a double swing. Oh, just guaranteeing the kills. Good shit. Alright. Mad means it's speed. Which means we switch. All I heard was the hammer. Then it freezes right as you're about to hit the monster. Then add GG Amazon lol. Morning as well, my time. Good morning, Golden Zenoga. Hello, hello. Hopefully you can hear me and it's not still an ad. Yeah, I... If I could disable Twitch ads when people join the stream, I would. But I don't know how to do that. Hope you're having a nice morning. For me, it's uh, 6.45 p.m. I'm having a pretty good day, though. Yeah, I just wish they'd give more skills to the monsties. But maybe I'm just being dumb. Alright. Let's show off uh, Ruby Viserios' laser ambush. <laughs> I like how it's the exact same as normal Viserios's. Which means our camouflage is even, like, worse. Twitch ads and Amazon ads are elementary data, all they care about, whatever. Whatever it's called about. Oh yeah, they Twitch really cares about making money, which is fair, it's their platform, right? But fuck me. Sometimes it just feels bad. Yeah, I'm a big uh, advocate for ad blockers. Alright, Kyle's gonna go for the slammer jam. And so am I. Actually, no, I'm gonna save my hammer slam for when he starts charging his back. I'm still on two times, but that's fine. I like Kyle's kinship skill. I think it's pretty cool. Fuck, we might get another kinship off. I kind of don't want to, though. Fishing like Keta. We saw that a few times, like, how does that get through? I don't know. I've got no clue. I just, I like to think of them as kind of like skills in anime where they show the skill animation over and over. Like, if someone's using an ice move, it shows them in like a de an ice place. But they're not actually, it's just their imagination. That's what I like to see it as. So this guy not going to charge up. Oh no, he is charging up. So now I want to um slam the shit out of him. First game had an anime. Second game, no anime. I didn't know the first game had an anime. I don't know how popular the first game is because I've never played it. Um, oh, shit. I almost ran away. No, I don't want to run away. I want to, uh, in fact, in case we accidentally kill it, paint all the shit out of it. Alright, so it's going back to power. Which means we want speed. Out there, Monster Hunter ride on. I'll check it out sometime. I'm in need of uh, animes. I'm absolutely blitzing through Hunter x Hunter right now. English DVD. I didn't know people still sell DVDs. I mean, I know they do, but like, how many people actually use DVDs nowadays? Hunting for 
I think the last time I bought a DVD was legitimately over 10 years ago. Alright, so we got laggy materials and we got an egg. Which I'm more excited about, the egg. I'm gonna keep... Even if I get like a super egg, I'm gonna keep picking up the eggs because I want it to get mad and attack me to kill it again for more materials. I wish I had a better technic, um, technical monster. Because I like Viserios, but that boy really likes to use his gas moves and shit. Digimon Adventure on another side note is being remade. Really? I am a Digimon fan. Um, I thought they already remade like the first Digimon. Oh no, it's getting up. What a shame. In fact, Digimon New World or something is on sale right now. On it's, I can't remember what it was called. Digimon World or something on sale on Steam right now. And I wanted to uh, try that out. I don't know if I'll buy it because it's still like, it's only 30% off. So it's still pretty expensive, but we'll see. This game was the last new one. You mean, um, survive? Uh, let's... Monsters... It's gonna attack, so... Digimon Ghost Game. Is there legitimately something called Digimon Ghost Game? If so, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's an anime. Oh! Oh, anime. I was talking about the games, the video games. Sorry. Alright. Let's hit it with a uh, voltage crash. Not going to do the most damage, but it's going to skip its turn and give us free damage, so why not? Alright, it's angry, so it's using speed, so now we switch to Viserios. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Digimon games. Not too big of a fan of the animes. I mean, I used to watch the first one, and I rewatched it like six years ago or something. Um, but it wasn't like crazy good. I don't know. I'd, I'm very critical of monster game designs and stuff, especially being a Pokemon game for so long. A Pokemon game? What? A Pokemon game fan, I should say. I'm st I'm slurring and stuttering all over the place today, aren't I? The DS games. I did play one on the DS. I remember liking a Digimon World game on the DS. It was very much like farm a lot of Digimon and stuff. But Digimon designs I like, but I kind of hate some of them. I hate a lot of the very look-alike ones. It's fine if you're doing like Argumon to Toy Argumon, but then when you have like Argumon and then just Black Argumon, it's like, okay, that's, that's not fun. That's just Argumon but Black. Even like Gaiomon and stuff, a lot of the ones that look very similar to Argumon, I'm just kind of like, eh, you could have just made your own design, buddy. Like, I would have enjoyed that. They're remaking Digimon Adventure 2. Nice. I'll probably try to watch it, but I have a lot of animes to watch currently. Been watching a lot of Inazuma 11, Hunter x Hunter. Um, some of those. 
I have a bunch of anime on the list. I need to get through Super because I never did finish Dragon Ball Super. I've uh, been keeping up to date with One Piece. I'm waiting for Spy X Family to be like fully released. All right. So we got a new buddy. That's good. We got a uh, feline borrow, which I'll go into. Not because I want to, but only because there's a chest in there and I should probably grab it. It's just hard to find a lot of the time to... Especially lately, I've been doing... Um, I have this thing with my friends that we call Shit Squad, where we watch just bad old movies. Uh, recently, we watched some Bratz movies. We've watched some... Uh, movies from like old times we watched a uh redubbing of lord of the rings from the yogs cast and it's been fun we watched a really 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 bad movie called super baby geniuses uh genius babies 2 or some shit like that and it was legitimately the most boring one and a half hours i think i've ever had it was so painful that it felt like five hours Alright, let's see what's up ahead. I feel like when we cross this, we're going to get something crazy. Or not. Or maybe it's quite a bit further ahead. Oh, it's a lake. Is this going to be a hole in the lake? That... Oh no. It's another pit. Wouldn't all the water drain? What are these? Uh, are th is this Mizutsune? Hey, I don't know. I don't know much about Monster Hunter. I've only played World and Rise, so it could be anything that makes bubbles. Yeah, I'm very new to the franchise in terms of, uh, age. I'd like to think I'm very good at, uh, Rise and World, or at least it used to be. I can't remember what type Mizu was in terms of, like, the combat triangle, but I know it's weak to Thunder? So I should use Zenoga. Want to hunt across. Yeah, I know some monsters from back then because I have friends that used to be like, you should play this Monster Hunter game and then I'll play it and then I'm like, eh. Like I tried playing, um, what was it? Let me just check which one I tried playing. Generations Ultimate. I bought it. I bought it for my partner. We played it and we it was just so rough to play. Um... It was very hard to get into, especially after playing Rise and World. Alright, it's technical. That's bad for us. Um, you're weak to water, so we're not switching in Tigrex. Tough game on controls. Not only is it tough, it just provided no feedback. And by that I mean, like, when I was shooting people, I didn't see how much damage it was doing. So I don't know if it's good to shoot people or not. Or am I better just using my melee attack until I get stronger bow stuff. Stuff like that. There's no feedback, so I can't learn. Because I don't know what I'm doing, if it's good or bad. If that makes sense. Oh, this is just one ally? Oh. Wait, actually, why don't I try to trap this thing? 
It's technical, so I can shrink trap it, right? Yeah, I'm, ne I'm never going to say those games are bad because I can't accurately, like, get into them. And I haven't put the time and effort to do so. But in my eyes, taking the time and effort to do that when I can just play more World or Rise, uh, it's very hard to kind of convince, you know. Did it say it was angry? I was not paying attention. Also, my trap did not go off. Yeah, there are just some of those fights that I just, in Monster Hunter also, that feel like they go on forever. Like, any fight against Kushala Deora feels like it goes on forever for me. And that's because I'm a bowman, so Kushala Deora sucks dick. Not because it's hard, but more because it's just annoying when your arrows just don't hit. All right, it's speed now, so I need to be using tactical. I respect all insect glaive players. I also feel bad for all insect glaive players because I'm a bow main, and the amount of times I've accidentally hit them out of the sky um, really feels bad. Star Knight armor. I've never heard of it, but it sounds cool. Does it look cool, though? It's the main part. This Mizuts is quite the, uh... Quite the pain in my dick. But at least we can't miss head-to-heads. Going for a poison. That'll be good if it hits. Nice. Ouch. Bloom Gold Royal Knight armor, basically. Wait. Yeah, no, I'm gonna save my, um... No, I'm going to do Kinship now, actually. I was going to save Kinship, but I'm going to just do it now. Uh, and let Kyle do it next turn to give us another free turn. Because I value two free turns better than I value the double attack. Because now... Um, I can switch you out and heal you. So it's going back to normal, which means it's a technical, which means we want... Power. Now this fight is rough though. The debuffs hurt so much. Usually I like sods because it's fun to fight against in um <laughs> in Monster Hunter. Especially in Rise, just slipping around while using a bow is so fucking funny to me. Alright, it's probably going to suds again, but that's fine. We can take a couple. Alright, it's going to do it again. That's fine. I need to finish Sunbreak, and by finish, I mean do the additional thing. I got up to Risen Kushala Deora, but I really didn't want to do that solo, so I decided to stop playing. Alright, it's mad, so now it's going to be using speed. I'm not even, like, scared of it. I just... I already know how annoying normal Kushala Deore is. So I really just can't be fucked doing it. Um, especially since I know I have mates that play it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna wait for them. 
a monster in the final form of the title monster. Nice, I didn't get to do that. We fought Velcana, we fought Risen Camellios, but after Kushala Day, alright, everyone stopped playing, and I'm like, I'm not doing this alone. Alright, I was just seeing what's up with my uh, Viserios, but he's just gonna make himself tank yo, which, you know what? Sure, buddy. That makes you happy. Oh, shit. Sorry, just had a uh, full cord. You on PC for this or console? I, I showed you what I was on before. Did a little bit of this, little cheeky. Why are you doing a power attack? My my Becerios dude. My my guy. Oh shit, I'm sleepy. <laughs> no, that's fine. Well, defense up saves Viserios there. My teammates just constantly want to use fucking power moves for some reason. I don't know if I should heal Viserios or just... You know what, I'm just going to switch him out. Sorry about that, dude. That's alright. Do you know what I hate? Right now, I'm currently looking for a job, and that means you have to answer your phone basically to random numbers, right? You put out your resume, do that stuff. Um, but there's been so many scam callers, and I have to just pick up every time because what if it is a job that I'm looking for, you know? It's so annoying. Purely power. It's like the greed for money, currency, or wealth. Oh yeah, purely power. Yeah. I like fighting everything in every single Monster Hunter game. At least once. To just say, like, yeah, I've done it. But some fights are inherently just way more fun or way less fun than others. Like, I don't know if uh, many people agree with me, but I find a lot of the kind of close range dashing kind of monsters like Tigrex just kind of annoying to fight not even hard just annoying and monsters that just are constantly like running around like Oda Garen's fine because you can dodge close and stuff and he feels fine but Tigrex like literally run forward run back run forward and it's just ugh. I've always found it annoying Voice mod to mess with scammers, yeah. That's the real Chad way of doing it. Alright, Miz is probably gonna bubble here. And that's fine. Miz is getting weak too, so hopefully this kinship might kill him. Oh! Leggy just killed it. Well done, Leggy. Wait, Kyle, something's not right. What do you mean something's not right? Also... Can we just talk about the fact that at the beginning of the game they showed like warning, warning, and Anjananth like invaded your fight, and we have not seen a single one of that like event happen really. We've seen people summon shit, but we've never seen someone like warning this person invaded the fight except for like not even the Plum Dimator because it got summoned by the Kurapeko. Kyle, stop being so fucking quick, mate. He's quick to shoot us, but he won't shoot the fucking enemy, monster. Finally.
Holy shit. So much I don't understand. What kind of power does Ratha really have? Why are all of these pits appearing? And who are those people who want to take Ratha for themselves? All I have are questions. That's all of our questions. The last like. But I know this. Five story quests. How powerful your bond with Ratha is, and how that power can stand against a strong enemy. <laughs> Keep looking into the pits. Different perspectives can't hurt. That's the way I see it. Kyle. Come on, let's head back. He's finally stopped being a bitch. Yay! And the cat sexy wigged at us. I don't like that. Sometimes it feels like you change in the blink of an eye. You've grown a lot too, you know, since I first met you in Mahana. You've gotten so much stronger. <laughs> I'm gonna guess we're going to the volcano region next. Kinship served level six. Whoa! Wait, did we skip levels or was I just not paying attention? How do I even check? Rider card, right? Look at my dude. Sub quest completed. I've done 131 quests. 592 monsters quests. I haven't done any co-op of this game, which I'm surprised you haven't asked for co-op yet because everyone else who joins my chat asks for co-op. Monster PDR 35%. Monster PDR 58%. 48%. I don't know what the brackets mean, but sure. Book of Genes, 42%. Eggs acquired, 97. Prayer pot, level 8. Weapons owned, mostly bows. Rid of funk. Frequently used monsters. Speed. Legion is not even on speed yet. I need to get Leggy up there. Power, Ratha makes sense. Tactical, two daybreaks makes sense. Alright, uh, achievements. Friend of Reverto. Ah, oh, that's when we got level 5. Avinio was 4, Kyle 6. I'm going to guess we're going to get 7, 8, 9, maybe. Broke monster parts, complete half book of combos. I'm sure someone's 100% at these. I definitely are, uh, probably won't, but I might give it a go. We'll see what happens. Not bad, not bad. 47% done with the achieves, though. Return to the feline shelter. Well, uh, I know what I have to do off stream as well is get a Mizutsune egg because I'm sure a Mizutsune is going to appear in that spot and I'll have to walk all the way there just to find it. I have the game, I just haven't got the urge to pick it up. I understand. I actually bought this game originally like a year ago almost. I played the demo, really liked it. Story was on sale, got it. Um... But I also was very, uh, I like that. I was like, damn, I really like this, but this looks like it's going to be a long ass game because I spent literally 10 hours playing the demo. It was crazy. All right, let's hatch new dog. There it is. He looks cute in his like little baby form. Looks like a little alligator. Alright, what type? Is he technical? No. He is power. That's a bit of a shame, honestly. I'm so sick of getting so many power types. 
Please, give me some technical types that are cool. Every single technical type are like fucking weirdos, pretty much. They were like the weird ones when you have your generic dragons are either speed or power. Oh well. Let's see what we're doing. All good, what are we doing? Are we going to the volcano yet? To hey, Mordor? Yo, about Rapa, another feline told me a real doozy of a story. Yeah? I don't know if it had those destructive wings, but a long time ago, there was a Raphalos with an unbelievable power. Its legend is written on a monument in some old village. Where's the village? Beyond the Turga Volcano is what I heard. Maybe you can figure out something about Rafa there. We gotta check this out, buddy! Hmm. There's a village called New Arte in that region. But I've heard it's even more secluded than Ruto. We gotta go, right? It's our best bet for learning about Rafa. True. This is no time for dithering. Let's go. Thank you for telling us, Orgo. Time to split up, it would seem. We'll continue our investigation on the pits. We'll be sure to let you know if we procure any new intel. Okay, got it! Watch out for the masked riders who are after Ratha. Stay alert. We all just simply kill them. Yes, let's go. So long for now. We better get going too. I can take you as far as the volcano. Give me a holler when you're ready to go. Will do. Time and time again, you probably know how these things go. It's never as easy as it seems, yeah. All right, he's like, hey, we gotta get cool mist. That's that's fine. I've already bought plenty. Uh, but first, let's go to um. Sure, let's let's do Ruto Village. That'll be fun. I haven't gone there in a while. Just to check out our armor and uh, weapons that we can make. So for weapons, we have, oh wait, no, of course, we already saw the Mizutsune stuff and I, I really want that sword and shield because it looks so cool, but also kind of want the, uh, the bow. Um, that'll probably replace the glacial arrow, but let's see if we can upgrade it first. Uh, what I want to do is upgrade my sword, my little shock sword. Luckily, we have uh, tons of points now for this. Might even be able to get it fully maxed. Yeah, we will. Very happy with that. 108 damage, pretty good. It's not, you know, crazy good, but it's good enough. Sure, I'll just level that to level two. Like I can always grind more parts off stream, it's no big deal to me. And this we can do as well once we get more parts, so. A water weapon going into the volcano area is probably a good idea as well. Cavalier Pain would be keeping me up. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Got like back pain or something. Wait, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing now. Uh, Diablos, you armor. Can I upgrade that? No. Thank you. It's looking at upgrading my armors, but I don't have armors that I currently like. I like getting healed per turn though. Uh, so our goal is to go all the way across here, which means Pamor Garden is where we want to head out. Let's go join the arm handle. Oh, 
Uh, my partner currently has like a wrist injury, and it is like one of the most annoying things for her. Do you live in a place with free healthcare? I hope so, for your sake. Alright, I'm also going to use, while we're here before I forget, Cool Mist. So now we're going to be chill as hell. If you hear banging, don't worry. That's just her right now feeding the animals. So I think my whiskers started to singe. Time to use Cool Mist I handed you earlier. Well, I, I already had it, but thank you. Oh, well, you can just get golden chunks here. All right, we have um, a monster that can break hard stuff too. Huge boulder block in the way. Doubt even I can scratch. Game okay, prepare for here. Take this feline barrel bomb. Should take do the trick. Wait, really? We can't just use brute Tigrex? Oh, thank you, Golden Zenoga, for the follow. Thank you for the support and welcome to the flip side, buddy. Jobby Jaggy, that thing's powerful. Positively claudacious or what? Feline barrel bombs can be made with Togo Nitro shrooms that grow around here. No more worrying about boulders getting our way, huh? So does that mean we don't need the rock smash thing, or can we use just Tigrex for that as well? Also, what the fuck is- Oh, I know these things. These fuckers are in Rise. And they're really annoying to farm, because there's like only like five of them on the map. Uruktar. Alright. Let's switch. Actually. You can spike bomb all of them. And I can guess that these things are gonna be technical. Yeah, I guess right. And they're weak to water. Damn, Harold, Harold's getting his ass beat a bit. But Harold is also using Spike Bomb. So I kind of want to keep Harold in. Well done. Oh, they're not weak to bow. But that's fine. Yeah, playing the only two mainline games and seeing the little monsters like Oruktos, I'm like, what the fuck are those? Like Slagtoths? I don't remember them. Oh, do... Can we not just, like, fly in this area, though? No, this counts as a dungeon. Okay. So this is ground dive. So is that PC gaming be expensive hobby at the moment? They could range the cheaper than what we had for a while ago for solid performance. Yeah, I mean... Honestly, I'm currently using a gaming laptop, and it has a 3080 in it, I believe. Um, recently, my old laptop died, and I don't have enough space right now in my current place to have a desk. So I can't have a gaming PC because I don't have space. I just don't have the space currently for it. So a laptop is what I'm currently using, and I only got it for like less than a thousand with a 3080 in it, and I think 16 gigs RAM. If not more, which is pretty good. That's still solid. Now that's a steal, yeah. And that's also Australian dollars, which are fake American dollars. Um, we call them dollary dues. <laughs> we don't call them dollary dues. <laughs> Here we go, there's some, I assume these are the shrooms we need. Feline barrel bomb. Do we lose them when we, oh, that's a creature. 
Oh, Alteroths, of course. Of course, of course. As much as I like you being in here, we're going to need something. Rubicerius is weak to ice, right? Yeah. But we can't because it's a technical, so... I guess we go with Tigrex here. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy. All things considered, I know the whole meme is like, don't buy gaming laptops, they're bad, but... A gaming laptop is legitimately what I needed for my current situation, and I was very happy with it. I, I will say I really, really miss um, specifically getting uh, two monitors, because my previous computer had two monitors. <laughs> Because two monitors is just twice the fun. And it's also just way easier to work on everything. Streaming, working, uh, the gaming. Everything's so much easier. Alright, let's uh, smash that stomach open. I mean, I can understand getting, like, base-end laptops, like, $300 ones for, like, you know, if you're doing university or, uh, work or something. Even if you're doing work, then I'd invest in something higher than, you know, a $300 one, but... Laptops are really good, and portability is becoming such a norm nowadays, right? It's so different to, um in our current day and age to do things just in one location you know you have the nintendo switch that i'm using right now is portable you have all these other like super portable shit which is great i enjoy my stupid little gaming laptop smiley face there's chicken break did you change your chat color or have you always been golden always crazy. It's Lenovo, Apple with annoying... Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Apple, uh, I've never been a fan of Apple. Only because I feel like Apple, especially early on, really enjoyed not being customizable. Um, and I liked customizing things. I loved downloading games at the time and shit like that. And I liked video editing with Sony Vegas, which I found easier on PC. Yeah, phones have also just been crazy, like, in terms of how good they are lately. Actually, you can just use power moves, right? Yeah. Isn't it crazy that, like, your phone can run shit like Genshin Impact, right? Huge 100 gigabyte games. Of course, on the phone, they're not 100 gigabytes, they're like 30 gigabyte versions, but we're at that point of time with tech that our phones are running full on games. Back when I got my first phone, it could barely play Snake. God, I miss Snake, though. Actually, I'll just win this head to head and then I'll ult you for a kill. Yeah, I remember when iPhones were coming out, I already had an iPod Touch, and I thought, what's the point of an iPhone? To make phone calls? I could just keep my regular phone and then keep my iPod, and it does the same thing. My iPod Touch I, like, loved and cherished, though, because I think the big thing for me was back, like, this has to be, what, 10 plus years ago, I used to watch a ton of YouTubers back when... You know, gaming on YouTube was still up and coming and you had Machinima and people playing Minecraft for the first time. Uh, you know, uh, and I loved watching those videos and I didn't want to be at my computer. I wanted to watch them while like laying down in bed and stuff like that. And having a YouTube app where the app sign was like a little TV. 
YouTube didn't used to have the like little YouTube play button thing. It used to have like a TV for the app. And that was... Oh my god. I feel so old now. The good old days. Now we have it just so easy, don't we? With phones that can run video games and shit. <laughs> Little brown and grey app, yeah. Yeah, you remember the one. I hope these rocks never come back, because imagine trying to, like, farm shit in this area. Oh, there's an Iodrome. I know you. And those must be Io Prey, then. I love the music here, too. Alright, these things are speed types, so let's hit a technical. God, they go down fast, don't they? Right, just hit another spike bomb and I'm gonna hit another tech attack. Only one of them died, really. Don't run games on my phone due to the cost of battery. Yeah, I, I mean, I also don't really run games on my phone. But I'm more used it as an example because it's like, we can do that, right? You have people that do just game on their phone. And I'm not just talking about the mums out there that play Candy Crush. Coffee. Prey, yeah. Phone get really hot. I once burned myself with it. It was either my phone or my iPod. But I accidentally left it out in the sun while, like, watching videos on it in the good old hot Australian sun and, like, picked it up and it burnt my fingers and my fingertips. Yeah, on some Australian days, people could even, like, leave metal pans out and cook eggs because it got that hot. Those are the, the good old days. Now, because of global warming, that happens more often, right? Revival S and Critkin S. Oh. I kind of like... I have crit currently, but revival is just the one that gives me HP per turn, right? Critical hits fill the kinship gauge. Well, I kind of like that. Especially since I'm looking to, like, change my armor up soon. Fancy natural source of cooking heat. Yeah. I mean, people do that shit all the time. Isn't like a main cooking method for some places literally cooking on like hot rocks? And I don't mean like hot rocks as in just a volcanic rock, but like putting a fire and then putting like a stone slab on it and then cooking stuff on it over it. Oh shit, I should have done the barrel bomb on the left side instead of the right. Fuck! I need to find another mushroom. That's just a Tigrex. I feel like they're putting him everywhere. Oh, these are new catch catch catches? Catchus? Let's uh, switch back to Harold. Common Tiggy Zibby ever. Yeah! 
For being a royal monster, they sure uh, show up every fucking where else. Alright, I want to hit up that burrow just to get the chest inside it. I'll never say no to free items. What? Oh, that's fucking crab. Gravios. It looks like a smaller, uh, bigger Becerios. Um, I don't know if Harold's. I mean, Harold's one of the strongest I have. You know what? Fuck it. Harold, stay in. But can you use Spike Bomb instead? I'm gonna guess that Rockman is uh, weak to Hammer. Just a guess. He's a fire type though, because he was super effective on me. can't say that's an ogre. That's racist as hell. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking with you. Alright, so power, so we want speed. Alright, I'm gonna do this to get hopefully my uh, charge for my hammer. Luckily, I should heal a ton per turn. Only 20. I thought I had my Kezu armor on. Oh well. Let's hit all the enemies with this. There we go. Get rid of those Conchu. Alright. As long as we head to head with each other, we should be fine. Because I'll slowly regen. Alright, let's break open his stupid fucking head. Leggy, why must you let me down so often? Just use speed when you're out, unless I say otherwise. Alright, now it's mad, so I'm gonna guess it's gonna be technical. So I'm gonna switch you for. That one. Whatever make the fucking one piece sound. Alright, let's slam a jam that stomach. And a power clash right after. Well, you're not beating me at that. Has anyone, like, lost any of the power clashes when they were paying attention? Because I think I lost one off of, uh... I lost one off stream because I just didn't see it happening and I was doing something else. And I was like, oh, I, I lost one. Alright, let's, let's break that stomach off. Tigrex, my buddy, my guy, my monsty. Please, uh, do attack. Thank you. Alright, I think this guy's about to explode or whatever. Spreading beam, yeah. So this is a great time to do this.
Alright, Tigrex, I gave you a chance, man. I tried. Let's chop off his legs. Chop his dick off. Oh, wait, he's back to power. And he's close to dying. Sure, I'll take a Gravios. I need Gravios parts anyway to make some of my, uh, like, super armor. Now you want to do fucking technical attacks, Ratha? Come on, man. Fight with me, not against me. Alright. Final hit, let's slam a jam and kill him. No retreat? No retreat. Sad. That's fine. I got, uh... No super rare? Yeah, super rare. Pretty happy with that. What was at the summit? You know, it's always times like this where some monster attacks us out of nowhere. Haha, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? We have to fight monster in monster fight game? I forgot to heal up my body. Oh well, we'll be fine. What's the worst that happens? We die? The path to the village is just past the volcano. Let's keep it moving. Okay. Hmm. I used to be the one giving directions to the team. But I'm not complaining. Show us the way, Sarge! <laughs> <laughs> It looked like Nabiru just hit that fucking Nene when he was talking. Oh god, it's Uragon. Oh, I hate this thing. This spells trouble. This Thanos looking motherfucker. I know this monster like the back of my eye patch. I'm sure of it. Don't worry, I'm perfectly capable of drawing his attention away! Why didn't he just let us fight it, though? Hey, blow, King! It's rolling way more than it normally does! That wasn't my plan! Time to jump in, buddy! God, I hate Uragan. Gotta watch our step around here, huh? I have no clue what type of move it's gonna do, so... I'm actually just gonna evade. Power. Alright. Uh oh. What's it doing? Those are wrong, my whiskers tingling, it's that rock. Alright, I'm gonna guess hammer rock mean boom. So I'm gonna hammer rock. Good crit. Okay, so he can use explosion when he does that. Got it. Um, I'm blast blighted, I just noticed. That's probably not good. Let's 
Soap Scud. Right, it's mad. It looks like it's targeting me. Holy shit. Harold's got Blast Blight on him. I don't know what Blast Blight actually does, but I'm going to assume it means he's going to hurt us when he hits us. Does Harold still have it? No, that cured him. So I think he's power now? I didn't actually check. No, he was always power. Is he still mad? I think so. When in doubt, Basarios is tanky as hell. No, he's technical. So we want power. Which, <laughs> Root Tigrex has power, just a bit. I'm still gonna just attack stomach with this. Wait, he's power again. What? Oh, he went unangry. Why the fuck are you doing- oh, okay. You know what? You're not losing the head-to-head. -head. Will that be enough to kill the rocks? No, it's not. Trying to work out what's the best course of action against this guy. I think he's going to detonate again. So I'm going to switch to my bow. Harold's also going to switch to someone who can take a hit. Also, Wrath is almost at 300 fucking health. Jesus. Now we switch Ruby out for Harold. I forgot to switch weapon. Whoops. That's fine, let's just break its fucking tail. Fuck Uragon. All my homies hate Uragon. Right, so it's technical now. So that means we want power. God, it's just back and forth with this gun, isn't it? Well, that's not good. Um, I need to ancient potion myself. Oh, 
Oh, I have a buff now? Oh, that's the Ancient Potion, of course. Why is Tigrex using Tactical? I mean, it doesn't matter, but why? Alright, now I can fuck him up. With a Rock Smash. Alright, he's low. Is he angry anymore? No, he's not. I still went into Ratha for some fucking reason. I think it's just... I'm just used to it at this point. Holy shit, we insta kinshipped as well? Alright. Alright, Rathla. I see what you're about. Glad you're all okay, all go to. Did he not fall into the lava? Because that would have been funny. I wonder if Radaban's going to be in this game, if Uragon is. Where the fuck did you get that rock from, Navaru? You know I always land on my feet. But now's no time for lollygagging. This path leads to the foot of the volcano. Okay, let's get moving. Aren't you coming? This is as far as I go. Good luck, partner. Sarge. I've got a family to look after. Can't take unnecessary risks like I used to. Besides, you got a new partner. A new partner? Who could that be? <laughs> yeah, well, I guess you're right. Okay, until we meet again. Go and do all the things we dreamed of, partner. Travel the world. I will. It's a promise. Go out there and be positively claudacious and, uh, uh, nothing. And, uh, formidable feline, right? Well, look at that. You remembered after all. Yeah, I did. I just couldn't bring myself to say it, like before. Well, well. Positively claudacious, formidable felines. That's us. Time to head out with my new partner. Thank you for everything, Orgo. Until next time, Sarge. Sarge said this path leads down to the volcano. Noir tea is nearby. I can feel it in my whiskers. I hope that's not a fucking monster, otherwise we might die. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna kill these things real quick. Surely I can quick finish them, right? No? Really? Alright, then I'll fight them the old-fashioned way, I guess. God, he's so close to death. Well, at least we'll kill maybe all of them with this. Hopefully won't need more scales than that for anything we want to craft. And hopefully this uh, volcano town has uh, smithy.
Wait, I need mushrooms for this shit? God damn. Oh, he's gonna spike bomb again. Perfect. Well done, Harold. Now we can heal Harold with a ride and heal ourselves and look at that, the best fucking outcome. We really didn't get a retreat with 85% chance? Fuck me. Got some uh, XCOM mods going on. Now I just have to pick which one's the right one. Or in this case, I should pick the wrong one because I doubt the game would soft lock us if we use the mushrooms. Meaning, I want to do this one. Important weak point. Thanks, Rubes. Ten cool miss. That's, uh... That's disappointing. <laughs> Just a bit. We can switch to Harold though, he moves much quicker. How many barrels do I need? I need two barrels. If I want to go all the way back for that stuff. But I only have one. Showdown L. Like Pokemon Showdown? Greatly increases head-to-head -head damage. Alright. Fuck it. We ball. Volcano Gates or Tirga? Kind of want to go to the Volcano Gates, but... You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> we ball. I'm sure we're going to go down here anyway. What the fuck? What are these things? Shakalakas? Oh, they're like Gajalakas, but Boom Shakalakas. Uh, can you spike bomb the shit out of them? Hello. Hello, Zuda the Chain. What's up? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Does this... No, that's single target. 
I was hoping that would hit everyone. Uh, yeah. Let's switch out Harold. Who else has AoE? You do, right? But you can't do that yet. No. One enemy. One enemy. One enemy. Alright, then we just stay in and fight, I guess. Uh, I don't know what type these things are going to be. Technical. Harold is spike bombing, so I will arc shot. Holy shit, arc shot does a lot. Now we could just kill. Probably get a second tech attacker instead of having three speedsters, just a tip. Ah, uh, normally I do, but there's just no fun tech attackers that I like using right now. But thank you for the uh, the tip. Normally I run two two two, but I just don't like a lot of the tech creatures currently. Astalos, I I haven't met an Astalos in the game. Let me uh, heal ourselves up. Let's get more of these parts. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the spoiler. It's alright. Luckily, I know what an Astalos is. Um, and I did know that Astalos was already in this game. I'm going to switch monsters for... Alright. Watch this play. Switch for Legiana. And then we activate a skill of Arc Shot. And almost kill all of them. They're weak to ice, okay. Then we switch off Legiana. And we Arc Shot them again. So, you know, Legiana, not so good. That's alright. Legiana's my favorite, and that's why I use it. I don't really care if it's uh, good or not. I use it because I like it. It's also actually pretty good in terms of... Um, <laughs> out of all my monsters, it is definitely strong. I like its moves. And, I mean, isn't the whole thing with this game, you can just change the genes of stuff that you don't like. So even if Legiana isn't good, I can just keep like... Oh my god. The lava places? That's cool. Are we gonna have someone that can swim in lava? Lava dive. We are. Okay. It's the stats. Yeah. I mean... I was surprised because recently I got a, uh, a Gabbath. Also, this area looks big. Am I allowed to fly in it or no? No, I cannot. Huh. Um, recently I got a Gabbath egg and I was surprised the stats were so low for some... Oh, really? Thank you for that tip. That's actually useful. Uh, very useful tip for me. I was just in here because I wanted to... You know, have a little fun before I reach the... I forgot what the village is already called. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? It's like a lava seahorse. Go to the village? I will. Agnictor. Oh, it must be like the big version of the little dudes.
All right, so it's probably tech. Um, I'll go into Tigrex. You're under leveled as hell. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Oh shit, we are not. Oh, we don't do much damage because it's. I like it's like little snapping sounds it's making. This thing is creepy in the good way. It's power? No, it's speed. Did not expect that. That's alright. I'll figure it out. That's the whole point of this game, right? Fight something new, figure it out. Head not weak to bow, tail not weak to bow. Please be weak to bow on the body. <laughs> body not weak to bow, shit. The bow's my only water weapon. It's gonna use a skill here. Um, I'm gonna switch to my blade. Oh wait, do I still have my water blade? No, that's an electric. I keep spoiling. It's alright. As if you're not meaning to do it, that's fine. But finding out like what a creature's weak against and stuff, I feel like that's part of the uh, part of the experience. So I try to do it. All right, Basarius, you're fine against this dude. Wait. What the fuck? Oh, it's weak to bow now that it's molt. Oh. Okay, so it switches what it's, like, covered by. And now it's using power. That doesn't do shit to Ruby Basarials. So now we want to switch to speed. Oh, it's got new part. Okay. I feel like it's going to flame up a cut, but that's fine. Spreading beam. What the fuck is that? Ouch. Alright, I'm going to life powder. Because you almost can kinship. Oh, it's speed now. Oh, okay, it's arm has gone down. So yeah, now we use technical, so switch weapon to blade. What's your favorite monster? Uh, Legiana, hands down. Though I, even though I'm not too much of a fan of Nagakuga in the games, um, I really enjoy stealth, especially as a streamer where I'm just trying to get to point A to point B without fighting everything in the, uh, <laughs> the game. Uh, it's very helpful. All right, he's weak to hammer. Seeming power, rage, use tech. Yeah, I thought it might. Oh, it's not weak to anything when it's not. Every monster is cutie. I don't know what a cutie is. Alright, so now it's power. So you do speed. So you do speed for me. And I'm going to switch to my water bow.
speed again on the head. Alright, it's gonna try to do its fucking beam move, so let's stop that by hitting its body. And now it's no longer steaming, so it's back to speed. So that means we switch back to tech. So now it's mad, so it's going to use tech. So I'm actually going to level up off of it first. Nagante, either max level, max G, Slayer of all, Elder Dragon, Slayer of the Final Boss, Slayer of the Great Beast, Fatalis. Well, I'm glad you have your little cutie, Nogagante. I do like Nogagante. I think Nogagante is a pretty sick monster. Alright. I'm going to switch you out for Rathar. And this guy looks like he's going to do a big attack because he's not targeting. So I'm actually going to evade. Alright, I'm glad I switched and evaded. So he's steaming now, which means he's speed. No. He's steaming, which means he's power. Right. Hey man, if you're worried about spoiling me so bad, which you should be, I, I really don't want spoilers. Um, please just try not to talk about anything in the game that you don't see on screen and that should help. Holy shit, he's spreading beam already. Okay, you like fish? Uh, actually, I don't like seafood. I think seafood is alright. Like, people who like to enjoy it can enjoy it, but... Personally, it is not one of my, uh, big interests. Alright, I feel like he's going to use a spreading beam again, so I'm going to evade again. What about Turkey? You know, Turkey isn't really big in Australia. I mean, we still have it. You can still buy Turkey, but it's not like... People just don't go out and buy Turkey, you know? Alright, so now it is a speed type again, so we switch you out for Viserios. Cool there. Yeah. Alright, let me um throw in a paintball. Oh, we can't get an egg of this. Alright. So it's mad, so it uses tech now, but it's using a skill. Wait. Yeah, I used to grow up watching Steve Irwin. Alright, let's break its tail. If we can. There we go. Nice! Pretty happy with that. Not a single rare material? Oh, unlucky. Uh, yeah, we have a monster that can do this. Speaking of monsters, let's switch back to Harold. Alright, so it might be good to get a lava rider. 
with some of these dolls. Oh, shit. You know what? I don't think that chest is worth it, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Three antidotes. It was not worth it. Insect husk. I wonder when we're going to get Elder Dragons in this game. This egg looks fancy. Do I want this one? Yeah, fuck it. We'll take this one. I don't know what it is, but we'll take it. Now I think I'm going to run back and go to the village. Burning Brutwyvern. You know what? That's probably Uragan, if I had to guess. I know yellow is a pretty... Well, gold is a pretty predominant color of Uragan. Oh, but there's another thing here. I could get another egg. I can't... I, it's just too tempting. The dens are there. They're, they're open. They're waiting for me. They're like, please come in and take my egg. I'm not fighting you again, although it was a good fight. It's definitely something that I should do off stream. Holy shit, what are you? You're like a black gra gravisios. Shit. I hate that I have fire weak armor. <laughs> if that's my only complaint, it would be that. Um, right now, my tankiest monster is... Leggy. Well, Ratha has more health, but it's tankiest speed monster. keep it up or not I guess leggy doesn't want to do that it's fine I'll I'll attack it separately Legiana why do you keep doing power stop you're a speed type Legiana please for the love of God It's the Uno fucking meme where it's like, use a speed type move or draw 25, and Ligiana's just sitting there with 25 goddamn Uno cards. Alright, let's fuck up his leg. That didn't do that much damage, but that's okay. Oh, now when he's targeting you, you want to do speed, you little fucking cunt. So, he's probably doing technical, so let's do a power on his legs. Let's do another one on his legs. Let's hit that level 3 kinship on his legs. Try to knock him down. You know what, Leggy? You've let me down for the last time, buddy. Get in here, Tig. 
Just don't rock shooter, please. Thank you. Alright, he's back to normal. Which means he's back to s power. Break his legs. Good. And now, while he's down, hit the fattest fucking hammer I can. There we go, 1,200. Holy shit! I didn't even get to paintball him. Alright, I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty fucking- I like the hammer a lot. Cause you don't have to use skills to get the hammer to do its cool shit. Until you've already, like, fully charged it. Peglocide all, don't really care about it. Brute bone S, don't really care. Come on, give me some, like, local commodities. One iron ore? At this stage of the game? God damn. That's a new egg. I'm taking that. A lot of little monsters in this area that are brand new, which I like. I like new monsters. I like the Pamul Garden, but like, sadly, most of those monsters I saw because I went back to Mahana Village and went for a little fly. Now we're going to Nuati Village. Nuati? Nuati? Don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Is it like Hawaiian? Is it like Japanese? Is it like a different type of language? Who knows? Holy shit. What? What's happening? Things just keep getting worse. Huh? Huh? Honor, look. <laughs> Arathalos. What's he doing here? Perhaps he's one of the Rathalos that disappeared. He's hurt too. What could have happened? Hurt. He looks dead. Oh. Quick runner. <laughs> Probably shouldn't go near wild monsters because they might get rage wade. Rage wade? Wage wade? Rage raid. Holy shit! That's sick as hell! Oh, is he getting eaten? like a snake. It's kind of phallic looking. Oh well, never mind. I'm sure this is someone's kink though.
Damn, all it took was two hits. That was a close one. Everyone okay? Does Navaru know this person too? Navaru fucking knows everyone, apparently. Yep. It's getting a bit stereotypical. Go to a new place, find someone Navaru knows. Go to a new place, find someone Navaru knows. Is this another friend of yours, Navaru? We're not just friends. We're best buds. Me and Cheval go way back. Right, Cheval? Yeah. Anyway, that thing that pulled the Rathalos into the pit, was that a monster? Yes, but... We still haven't discovered its true form. Its true form? The strange phenomena happening around the world, all the destruction, that monster is responsible for it. The hunters and the scriveners are blaming it on Ratha. But it's not his fault. I know, Lilia told me. Huh? You talked to Lilia? Yeah, I stopped by the scrivener's lodge. She's the one who asked me to find you. Really? She was worried about us? She felt guilty for not believing in your bond with your monster, even after everything she knows. So she's finally come around, huh? I knew she wouldn't let us down. She said, seeing you fly away with Ratha reminded her of old times. You know we've seen firsthand the kind of miracles riders and monsties can accomplish together. Yeah, you're right! A Monsty knows what's in their rider's heart. That's the reason why Ratha comes to your aid. He cares about you. What are you going to do now? I'm in the middle of tracking a Nergigante. A Nergigante? Ooh. Like yes, Red. please. But why are you after it? It's been attacking settlements lately. There have been quite a few casualties. That's awful. So you're looking for revenge? No. I learned a long time ago to stop hating monsters. You used to hate them? It's a long story. Let's just say I let my emotions get the better of me and lost track of what was really important. I see. Do you have an idea where you'll look next? No. I've kind of hit a wall. We're heading to Nuite Village to find out about the Raiswing Ratha legend. Why don't you tag along, Cheval? Nuite? I've only heard rumors about it. Is it somewhere around here? Yeah, probably. Probably? You don't mind me coming? Not at all. We'd be happy to have you. Sounds like a plan. Let's hit the road. Very Pog. We're in Turga. Oh, shit. There's a whole nother area. And with a whole nother area, you know what that means. Brand new monsters. This looks like a kind of place that Rajang would be at. And if there's Rajang in this game, that's going to be fucking hilarious. I mean, there should be, right? They have Kongalala. Imagine having Kongalala, but not Rajang. Also, I couldn't help myself. I saw a den I entered it. Sue me. Is that a different type of Plesios? It is. And there's green Conchu as well. Do I want to fight that right now? Yeah, I'm going to fight that. Harold's going for the spike bomb. Do I have enough to arc shot? I don't. So instead I'll switch weapon. A green Plesioth. Well, I wouldn't have guessed that for the name. Ah, he's a sword and shield guy. With a volcano blade. I'm gonna guess this dude is speed. 
technical. All right. Damn. He got crit by a fucking conchu. That must feel bad. Oops, I didn't mean to target the tail again. Oh well. One Conchu down. Another Conchu about to go down. Alright, it's mad, so now it's probably speed. Uh, let's try break your tail, I guess. It is speed. I keep saying what I think it is and then doing its move instead of doing the counter to that. It's also weak to electric, which I think Nur Gigante is too. Cheval about to show off his move. Are we about to show off our double move with Cheval? Yeah, we are. Come on, Cheval, let's do it. Oh my god, that move is so cool! I love Cheval's move. Alright, so now it's back to normal, so it's back to being technical, so we should do power. So now it's doing technical. No, now it's doing speed, so we should do technical. I have to say it out loud, otherwise I won't remember it. It's close to death. I don't think we can get an egg of it. But just in case, I'm going to paintball. All right. Thanks, sir. Could I have another? Well, Only B rank. Not doing too good on these uh, rankings. Ew. Is that another fucking Congolala? Oh, I hate it. I forgot to heal up everyone, that's fine. We'll be right, surely. Alright, so not water, not bow. Normal hammer. How about we try that? Keep it up. Haven't actually seen an attack yet. It's a power type, all right.
Not anymore. So now it's probably going to be technical. Ah, so he just farts better now. Great. I'm so glad this is our monsty. Right, gonna check out Rathi's uh, move now, just on its own. I like Scorching Slice a lot. The fucking like little spinning wheels are oh, so cool. Try flatten its tail. Hammer doesn't do too good on it. A breath blast? What the fuck? I thought it was gonna come out of its ass, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna just like shit all over us. Alright, it's getting weak now, so I'm going to use a uh, paintball. Not going to bother switching, don't really need to, it'll probably be fine. Uh-uh, Ratha, don't you do that now. Fuck, I didn't... Okay. I didn't mean to do that, but here we are. It's alright, Cheval got us. Hopefully he has a bit cooler weapons than normal Kongalala, but somehow I doubt it. Somehow, I feel like his weapons are just going to be the same as normal Kongalala, but green. Alright, I don't have time to grab materials. Alright, so Zenoga's just a regular ass monster now. Which, I mean, I guess it makes sense they did the same for Tigrex. Kind of uh, boring, but no big deal. What the fuck are you? Oh, you're the normal gravy dude. I already have one of those. Sure, that's new. Fuck, I didn't mean to press A. Bird wyvern. I wonder what kind of bird wyvern that's for. Alright, some slag toths. Don't really need to fight them right now.
We're to Arte Village. I don't see anything that resembles a village at all. Maybe we could just see it from where we're standing. Let's scope out any signs. I'm probably just going to follow the big orange fucking marker that tells me where to go. Oh, what the fuck? I ain't doing this again. I already fought Fart Monkey once. That's one too many times. Ah, probably the village icon on the map is where the village is, if I had to guess. From what Sarge said, the village should be in sight any minute now. But, uh, there doesn't seem to be a village here at all. Huh? Hey, what's up, Rasa? You sense something? Oh. Let's go. Is it a mountain top village then? Damn, it must suck getting like supplies to and from the village if it's all the way on top of a mountain like that. This is intruders. They have wooden ass bows. Not a place easily stumbled upon by travelers. How did you find your way here? This Rathalos led the way. My friends are riders. We've come seeking knowledge about Rathalos law. Riders? Led here by a Rathalos, you say? Please, leave this to us. We do not yet know if these outsiders mean us harm. Worry not. You are with me as well. Your journey so far has not been an easy one. And yet, the end is not within sight. Now, young riders, you wish to hear of a legend? Yes. I heard you have a mural depicting a Rathalos with terrible destructive power. We think it may give us a hint as to what's happening in the world right now. What gives you that idea, child? It's the only clue we have. Please, we need to find the truth before everything is brought to ruin. Ruin, you say? And you? Do you share their goal? Me? I'm looking for a Nergigante that might have been around here. You wish to hunt this monster? Not if I can avoid it. I just want to know why it's been acting this way. Monsters don't just attack villages for no reason. But that's exactly what this Nergigante has been doing. But why? Huh. Quite an interesting human you are. Very well, child. You may see the mural and decide for yourselves what the legend holds. Thank you. Unfortunately, the way there is open to none. Huh? I don't get it. What gives? Sorry to interrupt, but the Nergigante was spotted at the volcanic gates not long ago. And there, you see, is the reason we cannot access the shrine. Our moral code forbids us from fighting monsters. Would you allow us to deal with it instead? You may certainly try. Well, child? I'll go too. Are you sure about this, Yumlana? We cannot remain impartial observers forever. Perhaps the time has come for us to embrace new customs. New customs? Rathalos have disappeared from these lands as well. So, the dead one we saw was... In order to put its soul to rest, it is imperative to find the truth that you seek. Come to the village. I will show you how to reach the volcanic gates from there. Were we not already at the volcanic gates before?
Did we not explore that, or was that a different type of volcanic gates? I can't even remember what that area was called. This village looks cool, though. Oh, nice little 10 FPS cat there. 10 FPS child as well. Shall I have a room prepared for you? You may also use our stables as you see fit. The Nogigante has been seen around the volcanic gates. Perhaps you should start looking around there. So she didn't actually show us where it was. She just told us to go there. And we get a shit ton of quests. All right. Get night crider webs. Thank you. Hello, little child. Kill some shakalakas. Is that supposed to be a kid? Saying, yay, all right. Fuck me. Does this place have a smithy? Yes, it does. Thank God. You're here? All right, show you a sword and shield made from iodrome. Wonderful. Thank you. I can do that. What the fuck are these? <laughs> Great thunderbugs. Oh, those are the things an ogre summons. All right, let's check. Stable Blueprint, Silver Expedition Ticket. There we go. Whoops. Stable Blueprint. Yoink. Pink Anna Gear, sure. Mega Barrel Bomb. Navaru Outfit as well. Eternal Strife. What is that? The Great Orn Dragonfell Berry. The ultimate dragon sealer. It's a dragon element. That's sick. Odysseus Blade. Great Plesioth material. Or green Plesioth. Chrome Razor. That looks cool. And Teddy. <laughs> Cuddle in bed to guarantee a sound sleep. It has sleep chance on a hammer. That's actually pretty strong. Aurora Sama. That's pretty cool. Conga U armor looks dumb as hell, and I can make that, can't I? Congalala and green Plesioth, yeah. Item saver, horn maestro, soul kinship, don't care. Critical evasion ability potential, kind of nice. Critical is at least, and evasion ability. We'll see what the smithy has in store for us. But I have to go all the way up there to accept a quest. That's going to be a little bit of a pain in the dick. Kill an Emerald Congolala. I'm more than happy to. What do you need? Deliver specified items to get a new type of donut. I actually off stream bought 999 of a certain type of donut. I, I think it's the Lelouchian donuts. Um, just to have. Oh, actually, while I'm here. Is it Sune, Uragan, Treacherous Wolf, Shrouded Nursilla? Shrouded Nursilla, motherfucker. Like a Kriegus. What trial quest do we got? Gravios, Garden Elite. Alright. I will get gold on all of these things that I can eventually. Item store. Welcome. How can I help? Do you have anything fun? Grab a bunch of these just in case someone wants them for a quest. 
Flash bombs. I don't think I need anything else. Uh, sell or trade in. Wonderful. All right, what's up, buddy? How can I help? All right, so now we can make some of these, right? Yeah, we got shakalaka stuff for the um, Zenoga, which I think I want the Zenoga bow. I mean, this is technically just better because it has six defense, but it's ice type. These are whatever. Flame Cyphos. Aegis Club. Shellhammer. Prison Gator. Spine Blaster. That's actually kind of sick. I'd have to farm the Mammoth for this, which is kind of annoying, but I can do that. I don't know. I'll figure out what I'm making off stream, I think. Um, armor, though. This is pretty good. This is also very good, but weak to fire, and we're going to be in a fire area. Fire boost, fire defense boost, and guard chance. It's all right. Counter boost, guard chance, and... Anti-burn. Eh. Plesios Z armor. Water boost, water defense, synchronize. Part breaker large, bombardier. And part, and blight proof. Tempted to get this for the blast, but I don't want to fucking fight Uragans. No, I think I just do this. I think this is the play. And I think I upgrade, um, I upgrade the Sama. I can't, I need Astalos stuff, but that's fine. I'm sure we'll find an Astalos around. Because I don't think we're going to run into many ice monsters around here. And I'll figure out the weapons. Last thing I want to check is obviously the stables, and I want to hatch the little motherfuckers we got. Why are there so many small Wyverians around this village, too? What are you doing? Oh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I wanted to talk to him, but then I stopped caring. Alright, here we go. Alright, that was a new Uragon. That was a good guess. You might be useful. Black Gravios. Emerald Congolala. Iodrome, that's what you are. Okay. Let's take a look at, uh... A look at him. So, Urugan is a power type. That will get Whip and Bomb Trap. Instantly causes blast bite. Oh, that's actually pretty good. As for speed, we got Iodrome, which is all about venom. But like, don't really care about that. Um, and then that means Green Congolala sadly is a uh, ugh. A tech type, meaning I'm more likely to use him. God, he's disgusting, though. What was that Gravisios, dude? That was probably a power, and I probably missed it, right? 
Yeah, it was. You have two heat beam genes. Heat beam L and XL is charge spread beam. All enemies on the next turn ignoring defense, high chance of inflicting burn. Okay. Pretty cool. Alright, well, for now that's going to be it for the stream, so thank you all for watching and thank you all for the support. My name is Chicka Chow, better known on the internet as Chicka Chow. And as always, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace out. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye.